Renee and you're watching Beyond Grenade today and today I'm going to do a deep conditioning treatment but this will not be your average deep conditioning treatment. We're going to take it to the next level by adding a little bit of heat. Now I know you're thinking you have a no heat challenge, what do you mean you're adding heat? It's not that kind of heat, okay? This type of heat is actually going to be beneficial to our hair. So don't go grab that straightener, I will come for you. Now it is very common to be adding heat during a deep conditioning treatment to have that extra penetration of the product into your hair. So some girls use a heated dryer, some use heated towels and wrap their head, but today I'm trying a very convenient product called Hothead. I'm sure you guys have seen these heated caps before. A lot of other curly vloggers have used them and I personally tried it because one of you, my subscribers, wrote me and asked me to do a review on this. So thank you for recommending this product. I'm excited to try it. So as you can see, it's called Hothead. It's their thermal hair care and oh, it's, it's Editor's Choice by NaturallyCurly.com. So let me open this for the very first time. I mean, this is gonna be a first time, first impressions review for you guys. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, snaps. So after doing some research, I learned that there's actually flax seeds in here. So inside this cap, oh, it smells like tea. <laughs> um, you see it has these little packs right here. They're like little packs of like those hacky sacks, like bean bags. And the flax seeds are what actually get heated up that keep the hat hot while it's on your head. The one that I got has their cheetah print. This is their chic style, so I thought I'd take it back to my Scary Spice Spice Girls Cheetahlicious obsession phase. Yes, I was obsessed with cheetah print. Cheetah print was my first obsession before pineapples, just FYI, that's how, that's how serious it was. And then on the inside, it's black, and this is just a terry cloth material. Now before I tell you any more about this cap, let me heat it up and actually put it on so we can start deep conditioning. So I will be using the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. I just did a full review on this if you guys want to check it out. But I loved it so much. I love the smell. I want to use it again. So <sighs> here we are. So I'm going to apply this to my hair and then we're going to put on the cap. Now if you have really dry ends, this is a great time to really moisturize those ends. Wherever you have very dry hair, if it's at the bottom or at the top, this is when you want to attack. So now that I have my hair drenched in the mask, I'm going to put on my clear shower cap, cover up your entire head, and this will protect your actual cap from getting dirty and sticky and all that stuff. So now all you gotta do is throw this baby in the microwave. So when you first heat it up, you want the design pattern to be visible on the outside, and then we're going to heat it up for 45 seconds. After the first round of 45 seconds, we're gonna take it out and actually flip it inside out to make sure that the entire hot head is getting heated. So now the terry cloth is on the outside, and we're going to heat it up for another 45 seconds. Then as that goes round and round, we take it out one last time, flip it inside out again so that we see the pattern once more, and then we're gonna do one more set of 45 seconds. All right, it is fresh out the microwave, and guess what? It is hot. Now, I've seen on other videos this will be worn both ways, and the actual printed side is actually a little bit hotter. So I'm gonna put that side over, even though it might be cuter the other way. Oh yeah, nice and warm. Now this will not be the last time I'll be using this. This will probably be used in my deep conditioning treatments from now on. So I will try it, flip the other way, and I'll let you guys know if I see a difference. But this is how I'm gonna be wearing it today. All right, so now we're gonna let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. And first off, I can say that I'm already loving this. I love how warm it is, so it feels like a little, jacuzzi for my head like it's actually very relaxing so when I do my mask I personally do a hair mask and I usually even do a face mask so together like it's just gonna be a little spa treatment 
So now let me tell you why it's good to use heat during your deep conditioning treatments because it actually will open up the hair shaft. Now this type of heat is good. Do not put a straightener through your hair and then deep condition and think that you're doing something right. No, that is burning your hair. This is just simply opening up the hair shafts. So now whatever deep conditioning treatment that you use, all of those natural healthy ingredients can really get into your hair. Now some people actually have hooded dryers. When I first saw a girl use a hooded dryer for her deep conditioning treatment on YouTube, I was like, what? In your house? Like nobody just has a hooded dryer in their kitchen. And then I kept watching more videos and a lot of girls did and I was like, oh, really? But if you do have a hooded dryer, that means you actually have to one, have that huge thing that takes up all the space or maybe you have one that sits on your countertop, but then you are confined to one spot and you only could do so much. I'm someone that has a lot to do at all times and I like to multitask. That's why I do a hair mask and a face mask, probably while I edit or I do this. Like I actually need to move around. You can clean the house. You could do some squats, whatever you need to do. You are not confined to one space. There's no plugs, but I'm still getting the heat that I need for my deep conditioning treatment. Now I definitely recommend this for people like me that have low porosity hair. If you're not sure what type of porosity you have, I have a full video explaining high and low porosity hair. But in brief, if you have low porosity hair, that means that your cuticles are very tightly closed shut. So it's hard for products to actually get in there because they're just so sealed. So by adding heat, you are going to open up those hair shafts so all the product can get inside. This is what you have. This is what we want. Now a hooded dryer can cost you a hundred plus dollars. I don't even know how much those legit salon ones are that I've seen in some girls' videos, but this costs 30 bucks. And this will actually last you a very, very long time. Now if you do want your own heated cap, you can get this from thermalhaircare.com. I got the cheetah print one, but they have a bunch of different types of looks and patterns that you could choose from. And this one is $29.95. Now if you think about it, it is a great investment because it's something that will last you for years. It's not getting dirty, we're not putting any product on, it's just literally being used for heat and then we put it away again. So I personally deep condition every single week and that is how I've gotten my hair to grow, it's how I keep it moisturized. Deep conditioning is so important so I really hope you're doing it. And if you wanna buy one for yourself, I do have a promo code, I'll put that here and in the description box below. So make sure you use that to save you some money. So I'm gonna to continue to let this sit for at least 20 minutes and I will be back to show you the results. All right, it has been 30 minutes, so now it's time to take off our cap. It's definitely doing a better job at keeping in heat than just a normal plastic cap like I usually would. So let's take this off. Ooh, oh the breeze. <laughs> so I'm gonna rinse this out and I will be back and we'll see how it feels. All right, so if I zoom in, you can see my curls are nicely defined. I'm excited to see how this will do with my hair over time. But so far, it seems like they're looking pretty soft. So that is how you use the Thermal Hair Care Hot Head, and I'm so excited to now use this every time I deep condition. So get ready, you will see me rocking this little heated cap pretty much all the time in my Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, that's where I show you all my behind the scenes of my daily life. So make sure you follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will be back with updates to show you how the hot head actually helps my hair over time. Before you go, I ask that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday, so I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.